Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, um, what the heck? Girl, what are you doing on top of the skimmer? Oh, she was basking right there. Okay, well it rained like it poured last night. So as y'all can see, the pond is overly filled. But anyway, um, in today's video, we have some, you know, I'm kind of like, it's really windy out, but I'm kind of like going through it again. Rather than explain, we should just go take a look. So if we come in the garage here and we take a look at Mr. Pancake. So over this weekend, I took Pancake and I finally put him in uh, like a small shallow water enclosure out on my patio. That way he could get some natural sunlight and that way, you know, we can start getting him back and ready for outside. Um, and then the night after I put him out there, he has a little bit of a prolapse, a penile prolapse. Basically, a prolapse is when an organ that's internal of the turtle comes out of their body. This can be like parts of like their intestines or like something pushing out of their cloaca. It's just not a good thing. It's basically like an organ that can you know, pop out. Sometimes it happens when they're constipated, they have diarrhea and they accidentally push too hard and they push like their insides, like literally out. In this case, Pancake, um, when he was like drowning, his um, like hemipene, like his, his, you know, member was out. And so it got damaged a little bit. And that's why he was like irritated. He was showing irritation towards his back legs. It was his legs and it was his tail. I could tell that it was his tail. I could tell that that was an internal issue. I was just hoping that it wasn't gonna be a problem. Now it is. So I've just, ugh, I've really, y'all know, I've been just going through it for the past month and a half, like problem after problem after problem after problem. And it's just like, anyway. So let's take a look, let me explain more. So essentially what I did was first I put him in a diluted betadine solution and um, to treat the wound. And I tried to keep him nice and warm, that way we could fight off any infection. I administered another round of injectable antibiotics and I used this like triple antibiotic that I had on his little member. I also use this um, spoon to grab a little bit of sugar. I put some sugar in the water and I put it on his, you know what, because sometimes that helps. And then I also added salt to this solution to try to reduce the swelling. Basically, I think that it's just swollen and that's why it's sticking out. If we look right here, um, so last night I tried putting Pancake in uh, some cold water overnight because I figured that that might reduce swelling as well. And it just, um, well, it has not been working. I need to change out the water and make sure that it stays nice and clean because that's the number one important thing. That tissue can very quickly get infected and become necrotic, basically meaning that it's dying. So essentially I need to keep the water very, very, very clean. So I'm about to replace the water that he's in. I put him in some cold water water overnight. That way it would try to reduce the swelling. Clearly it didn't work. So I'm going to replace this water, get some fresh water and get some salt in there and try to get his wound cleaned up again today. So we can, oh, I'm going to need two hands for that. And now I want to use like nice fresh water, not from the tap, literally drinking water is what I'm going to use. Yeah, this is, this is literally what I'm doing. Oh, this in here. We're gonna need one more because it needs to stay hydrated. Now that it's out, once it was in, it was okay to dry dock him. Now that it's out, it needs to stay hydrated, unfortunately. One more bowl and we should be good. There we go. And that's nice and cool water. So now I'm gonna salt it, maybe add a little bit of betadine, a little bit of salt and, um, that will, that will be Pancake's new little enclosure, sadly. I need to go dig in the depths of this garage for the salt. It's all my garbage too. All right, I got a handful. Ah, why do I always have cuts on my hand? This is freaking stings. Mix it all around, nice, nice. And then we gotta get him in here. Okay, so let's let's talk prolapse now. Let's talk about first aid and what you can do. Now, a prolapse in a tortoise versus a turtle are different, but they have some similarities. In an aquatic turtle, you're gonna wanna keep it 
wet, which is what I'm doing, keeping them in shallow, cool water to reduce swelling, but warm water can also help to fight off any infections and keep the immune system running. Applying an antibiotic and making sure that it gets cleaned off with some diluted betadine is probably a good idea as well. And like applying some sugar actually directly to it sometimes will force like the turtle or tortoise to like suck it back in, which is kind of your best case scenario. I would do like one, two or three days of at-home treatment before taking them to a vet because usually they'll pull it back in on their own. Once it's prolapsed though, you gotta remove the animal because other turtles, tortoises, whatever, will come and bite at it. I suspect that might be what happened here when Pancake was underwater, his you-know-what fell out, and one of the other terrapins got a little too curious, which we support all terrapins, but not when they injure others. So keeping it clean, keeping it wet, especially in aquatic species, making sure that it doesn't dry out are very, very important things to do. Pancake was able to keep this in his tail though before so I have a feeling that he'll be able to pull it back. I think he's just having some swelling because so so take a look here guys. Actually I'm not gonna bother him. Take a look at this video. You can see that that the wound on his foot is the same as the wound on his tail. It's at the same like latitude. So if I use the foot wound and how it's healing to gauge and assume that the you know his organ is healing at the same rate his foot has begun scabbing up. And so if his foot is scabbing up, odds are his little member is, is scabbing up too, which is probably creating some dead tissue, some inflammation, and that is most likely what's causing it to prolapse. I have a feeling that over a little bit of time, as that skin will start to peel off, it's gonna become a little raw, and to avoid infection, basically it's just a waiting game and keeping it sterile and avoiding infection. I loaded him up with some antibiotics that I injected with. I'm about to apply some more triple antibiotic and then just put him in this little enclosure, cover it so that way he feels nice and safe and secure, um, and just hope that he doesn't damage it any further. Let me grab pancake here. Actually, let me first get the antibiotic cream ready. Put some on my pinky here, that way I'm ready for him. Come here, buddy. Oh, yikes. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit further out more today than it was yesterday. Buddy, can you just pull it back in? Today it's looking like it's out a little more, but it looks more healed. At least the skin is. So like I was saying, that foot wound, see how it's scabbing and starting to scar? It's gonna do the same right here where he's also injured. I do not want him kicking at it with his own feet. So there we can see it, you know, it's it's not all the way out. It's just like a small little bit. So we're gonna put him in some cool salt water and now I'm just gonna cover him up and let him relax and hopefully pull it back in over the next day or two. It's really important that you guys don't like try to force it back in. You gotta leave it up to the turtle to do it themselves. Once they have this condition, they're usually more prone to do it again. It can be induced by mating, by, you know, food issues, eating gravel sometimes. It's not fun. It'll probably be a multi-day process. This was his little temporary enclosure. I even tried feeding him, throwing in a little bit of food. And I noticed he was just sitting here dry docking himself. And that's when I thought, you know, maybe I should put him back on dry land. I picked him up and there was the prolapse. How do I look? How do I look? I love this tank top from my babushka. My sister-in-law's from Russia and her grandmother gave me this. We have to ship some turtles. So we have two going to the pond digger over in California and then one is going to a very nice young viewer who's been wanting a turtle from me for like ever, so. My handwriting is fantastic. Now I just make the box. And there we go, our box is made. So now we have to go get the little baby hatchling. Look, one of the baby spotted turtles is basking. Sorry, friend. I know, sorry, little baby, I gotta walk over here. And the hose came off of the pump. Of course it did. Oh, why do things need to go wrong? We need this little baby terrapin. We wanna wet the paper towel a little bit, nice and warm, get it in here. I already have one here because I don't want him to injure himself on the plastic. Nice, nice, nice and healthy. Really actually putting on good growth for such a young one. Really just a very good looking little baby. Here you go, buddy. Off to your new home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. All set. Put in some newspaper here. And there we go. Put it on like this. And there we go. And I'll tape this up, get the shipping label and everything, and then do it with some larger ones. All right, buddy. This one's going to be one of the tougher of the goodbyes. Oh, gotcha. 
and your shell is starting to turn freaking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands to do this, guys. All right, I've got my boxes. I Come on. That was lock, not unlock. I got my boxes here. I really gotta hurry because I've got my brother's birthday dinner and I'm cutting this kind of close, so let's roll. Ugh, so that is that. Now we get to go home. I don't know if I'm gonna film anymore, but I have a feeling my day is over. Everything else that I have to do, I can do tomorrow, including feedings. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna drive home now, throw on some tunes, and I'll see y'all in the next one.